Look at we that. We have more kids. Oh, I mean, there. it should be illegal to have this much handsome in one frame <laughs> on television. The energy. <laughs> yeah. the, Ken, the Ken energy is huge right now, guys. We've got movie Ken, we've got producer Ken, and it's 1136. That means it's time for a little lights camera. Ken McCarthy That's this right. morning. And we are obviously all morning talking about the biggest movie of the summer, Kevin Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, I, of I, course. I, sorry, guys. Right. I, mean, I mean Barbie. Yeah, I mean oh, yeah, Barbie. Uh, Barbenheimer. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so who do you have today for us? Uh, all right, well, so the Barbie cast is incredible. Greta Gerwig has put together a phenomenal cast. The movie starts playing tomorrow afternoon, but I talked to everybody from the cast, including Ryan Gosling, as well as Margot Robbie, uh, Kate McKinnon, in, as well as Michael Sarah and Issa Rae, to talk all about the deeper themes of the film. But at the beginning of this interview, you're going to see a little bit that Ryan and Margot had me do, where I wore double sunglasses. So right before we toss this package, Chris, I think we should uh, we'll give the audience a little preview of the one of the one of the sunglass bit let's go ahead and can we get on camera for two seconds before we go to the package if not no oh here we go here we go ready okay there we go look at that let's roll this got way more handsome take a look Hey, man. Oh, really good to see you. Hey, oh, yeah. really good to see you. Have you been? The suit, oh my God, do I actually? Okay, want this is the, this is awesome. I'm literally gonna wear these. Nobody's when worn I... them through the interview yet. I'm just saying. Do yes. you want to be the first person who? Yes. Right, are you guys drinking these too? Think... Yeah, mine's down here. Are we all wearing rocker glasses? Yeah. That looks Ooh, good. No, I'm... I like these. These give very like 2007 going to a festival. Hell yeah. Me, so, these are. He's a these are we better. need to talk about Slipknot sometime, by the way. <laughs> one of my favorite bands of all time. Really? Yes. Yeah, so we're doing the double? Am I doing the double like you did, like yes. did in the movie? All right, let's that do this. That is it. Can you see us at all? Uh, wow, you're coming in hot, you man. Look no very, one's worn them at all. You're blurry. doing double? Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this. I see four of you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, the How many of those Barbie spoons have you had? <laughs> I'm going to bring up a serious line. Uh, the idea of, you know, humans only have one and, and, and one ending, uh, but ideas live forever. Mm. And it's a really kind of a, I feel ridiculous. This I was going to no, this is going. so good like, when do you're being... But that line is so great, and I'm going to ask a serious question, but the concept of... kind of reminds me of Babylon. Can you look at the camera and say that line? Yeah. <laughs> but but, but without... Yeah. Humans only have one ending. Ideas live forever. So good. You just summed up Cut our movie in, a, in just a moment. Yeah. Put that in the trailer. Humans only have one ending. Get that for me! Ideas live forever. As actors, you you get to live in the, the the shoes of a character that you're not. Like you get to actually view the world through. The, and one of the big themes of this film is self discovery. And I, the arcs that every character has are is, are incredible. Everyone goes through a huge arc. Every character is given that moment. I'm wondering if each of you on the other side of this movie, what is something you discovered about yourself through your character that you will then take with you into your own life? Frankly, yes. Like I I was so. Uh... I always, when I heard the phrase weird Barbie, I was like, oh, yes, well, <laughs> been that forever, and I'll just, I'll do it. But I, um, uh, the pride that I felt while being that character, mm. uh, I think, helped me to be even more comfortable with myself and mm. how freaking weird I am, man. Well, Alan sort of, like, kind of like Ken, suffers from only existing, you know, in someone else's context yes or in someone else's domain only having meaning you know when when someone is giving it to, to them so mm. that's kind of an important takeaway okay. i've felt that way before too you know i mean i think everybody can feel that way sure at some point for me it didn't dawn on me until it was out in the world and i was sitting next to um a friend slash co-creator when we when the trailer came out mm. and she was like you're you're playing a Barbie like you're an actual Barbie and I was like oh yeah and she started crying she was like I just you know I think about I think that's amazing and I think about like what the young girl me would be able to like play a version of you like a black Barbie in that way and I was like this is Barbie means so much to people and that was touching to me just in terms of like and it was dramatic let's be clear but it was also just a beautiful beautiful moment and takeaway for me of just like what we all represent in this film to people mm -hmm. All right, so Barbie hits theaters technically tomorrow. The official release date is Friday, but you can start seeing showings tomorrow afternoon along with Oppenheimer. I, I saw a story the other day that over 40,000 people for AMC have already bought double feature tickets for both movies. But, Chris, I think we should take Ryan's advice here and go double... Yeah, see, Double look, look at that, That's the man. Move. Look That's the move. at that. All right, so uh, what do we do now? I, I have absolutely no idea. All right, well, we might as well just send <laughs> it out to our Barbies, who I think, if I'm not mistaken, have found their way to a bar.